let's take a closer look at Indian hair routine. If you're new to my channel, which you probably are, I'm Mike. I'm a hairdresser, a L'Oreal colour specialist, a makeup fan and a skincare lover. In today's film, I'm going to be reviewing as well, it's going to be my first impression of trying out an Indian hair routine using Indian hair products. If you want to hear my thoughts about Indian hair routine and their products, then keep on watching. What is the story everyone? In today's film we're going to be talking about Indian hair routine and their hair products. And do you know what? As we all know Indian women have absolutely luscious, glorious, dark, silky, beautiful hair. And do you know what? You could look at that hair and it literally bounces the shine back and you could nearly see yourself because it's as beautiful and as shiny as a mirror. And it was only smart of me to do this film because a lot of my viewers actually come from India so I was like do you know what let's step away from Kerastase and all those big brands that everyone knows and actually review brands that are not very well known in Europe or other places so what I actually done was I made a few phone calls sent a few text messages and I said I need to know what Indian women use on their hair and the feedback was absolutely brilliant I got loads of help loads of tips and I took a trip to my local Asian supermarket and I picked up few bits. So when I asked my friends what is actually the typical Indian hair care routine, they said, right, we shampoo our hair two to three times a week. I said, brilliant. So they don't over shampoo their hair and they use products that are enriched with oils and natural products. So I got a few Indian hair care products in my local Asian supermarket. And to be honest with you, there wasn't much choice. Now I had a list of brands and names that are a lot more popular in India, but I really picked up what I could have. So the first product I'm going to be talking about and trying out is Parachute 100% Natural Coconut Oil. So in India, coconut oil and any sort of natural oils are very popular when it comes to hair. Why? Well, first of all, let's talk about Indian hair as such. Indian hair is a lot more coarser and it is a lot more thicker to, let's say, my floppy, lacklustered hair. And the weather in India is very humid. So the hair will get frizzy and dehydrated. So they use a lot of oil to really hydrate and add the shine to the hair. And you know what? This is actually a number one selling coconut oil in India and it's pure and natural. And when I was actually reading the ingredients, it is edible. So you could actually use this for cooking as well, which is very interesting. Like there's no, there's no chemicals in it. Like, it is unbleached, there is no smell to it, there is no solvents used in it. Like it's actually pure coconut oil for your hair in a bottle. And Parachute is actually a very popular supermarket brand when it comes to coconut oils in India. So actually one of the girls recommended to get Parachute. So when I seen this I was like, right guys, we are gonna grab it. So let's talk about coconut oil when it comes to hair. Coconut oil contains lironic acid which is gonna bind the protein in the hair and just make it really strong. And also what coconut oil is gonna do is gonna protect it from environmental damage like heat and impurities found in the air, so smog and all that kind of stuff. Now, when it comes to my hair, my hair is very lackluster. And when I say very lackluster, it is bleh and it is very flat and it is very fine. Now, I know for 100% if I washed my hair, conditioned it and I put coconut oil in my hair, it's gonna be a disaster. It's gonna be really, really way down. Now, coconut oil has many uses. You can actually use it as a pre-cleanser. And what I mean by pre-cleanser is, so you can apply this to your hair when the hair is dry prior to shampooing and your hair will still get the nourishment and the goodness that coconut oil is gonna give your hair. A right hair care is using the right products correctly. And what I mean by that is, this product is absolutely perfect for me. It's just the way I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna use it as a pre-cleanser instead of blow dry it into my hair or putting it to my hair after I blow dry it. Now, if your hair is a lot more thicker and frizzier, I'd probably recommend just putting it onto your ends when the hair is dry. So let me apply this onto my hair, let the hair absorb the moisture, and then we're gonna shampoo it off. So we're gonna open that up first, and it's actually my first time opening this product, and I've actually never used coconut oil in my hair. So let's have a look at that. Oh yeah, so it has a nice little exit, if that, if you could call that. So it's gonna be very easy to pour out. 
So I'm literally just gonna put a tiny bit on my hands. So starting with a tiny bit. Oh, so it's, it's a creamy-like texture. Let me just... Oh, it smells delicious. It literally smells like coconut oil. And I'm just gonna work that into my hair. Now, I did expect that to be a lot heavier. Like, it doesn't feel as heavy as I thought. Like, when we think of oil, we think of oil. But no, it smells absolutely gorgeous. Like, it's delicious. I want to eat it nearly. So I'm just gonna work that into the hair. Like, you, if, if you've really fine and lang hair like me, you could nearly do it as an overnight treatment and then shampoo your hair in the morning. But definitely if your hair is fine, shampoo that off because it's just gonna be too greasy like it is oil. Now what I'm gonna say about the coconut oil, it's definitely blonde safe. As we all know, blonde hair is sensitized, so it's gonna absorb absolutely everything from the outside. And like that, if we're using oil with a slight hint of color, let's say like almond oil, it might nearly leave a color tinge on the hair. So now this is definitely color safe. So now it feels good on my scalp, it feels good on my hair. Now it does feel greasy, but we'll see how soft and lovely my hair is afterwards. Let's move on to shampoo. And the shampoo that I'm gonna be using today is Vatika Naturals Nourishing Shampoo. So Vatika, it is an Indian supermarket hair range. Now, from what I know, it's not very popular in India. It wouldn't be reached out a lot in supermarkets, but it was the only thing that I could find. So this is a nourishing shampoo and it is for normal hair. So it helps soften and vitalize the hair. It is very natural shampoo as such. So in India, they love products that are very natural. So like that, they love coconut oil, anything that is very, very natural. So the three main ingredients in this shampoo are olive that contains vitamin A and E to help lock in the moisture, almond to give the hair nice softness, and henna to condition and shine the hair. So when we're talking about henna, we're talking about the plant extract. So first of all, let me just smell the shampoo. When it comes to the smell, it is very much your supermarket classic shampoo. Like the smell will be very similar to like your Garnier and any other products. It is a nourishing shampoo, so it is for all hair types, but we're gonna find out how it actually performs on my hair. When it comes to the ingredients, it does contain sulfates and it does contain silicone in quite high amounts. What we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go off camera now, I'm gonna rinse my coconut oil and I'm gonna shampoo my hair twice with Vatika Naturals Nourishing Shampoo. And we're back with freshly washed hair using Vatika Nourishing Shampoo. The shampoo experience was absolutely fine. Like there was nothing amazing about it and there was nothing bad. Like it just felt like washing your hair with just a regular shampoo. However, my scalp does feel really fresh, which is very strange. I don't know whether it's thanks to the oil or it's the shampoo, but my hair feels very light and my scalp feels fresh. Like my hair doesn't feel heavy. Cause sometimes I find with all those products that contain a lot more natural oils, they do make my hair really, really heavy. And like that, the technology in this shampoo is very simple. But anyways, let's move on to conditioner. And the conditioner treatment today I'm gonna be using is Batika Black Sea Deep Conditioning Mask. Now, so we're using another product from the range Batika. Like I said, they didn't have much in Dublin, like there isn't much you could get. A black seed, it's a very interesting ingredient and it's something I've never seen used in products like let's say L'Oreal or Siri Expert or Redken or your supermarket shampoos like Tresemme or anything like that. So black seed is basically black cumin or fennel and have been used as a medicine for years like weight loss. I should eat that seriously. Toothache and headache and all that kind of stuff. So this mask is gonna give you deep nourishment and softness to the hair and also protection. So we get 500 grams, which is a lot of mask. Like there's a lot of mask in that. So let me open that up. And like that, the packaging is nice and sleek. Nothing spectacular, it's just a nice packaging. And it's sealed over here, so we're gonna open that up. Guys, it's black. Oh, no, I did not expect that. I just, I really thought it's just gonna be like a creamy mask-like in texture. I did not expect that to be a black, I've never seen a black mask in my, in my life. And it smells absolutely glorious. Like it smells really, really fresh. So we're gonna take a, 
handful or a few fingers of it. Now look at the color of it. This is so bizarre. And I'm just gonna rub that through my hands. And we're just gonna apply that onto my hair. Not too much, obviously, cause like that I have fine hair. So if I put too much in it, it's just gonna weigh it down. But I am really surprised by the color of it. I don't know how this mask would work out on my blondes, whether it would stain the hair, because they usually make hair mask light in color so it doesn't stain the hair. Now, we know that our purple shampoos are to neutralize the hair, so I don't know if that will do anything to your color, so don't quote me on that. But for my hair, it should be fine, because when you actually apply it to the hair, it just goes clear. It's not like a purple shampoo that it stays purple. Right, so I'm gonna leave that on for about 10, 15 minutes. I'm gonna rinse it off and I'm gonna come back to you guys. And we're back after rinsing out my mask. And you know what, you guys, that was so bizarre because the water actually ran dark. When I was rinsing it, the water ran dark. So nearly like when you put on your purple shampoo and the water runs purple afterwards, it was same with that mask. Now we're gonna see if it affected my color. Now by the looks of it, it doesn't look at that effect in my color. But I'd say if you're a blonde and you're gonna use that, it might dull down your color, so be careful. Now, my first thoughts, my hair does feel good. It doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel too slippery. So I think the black fennel mask, it's looking good so far, it's looking good. So let me try out the last Indian hair care product. And that product is Vatika Volume and Thickness Styling Cream. So this is a blow drying cream or a styling cream. Now, when it comes to the packaging, when I first seen it, I was like, oh, it's a gel. So, I'm not really too gone on packaging. Like, I think it would be a lot nicer if it was in a little squeezy tube, but it just really threw me off. I really had to read what the styling cream really was. So, this is a styling cream to thicken and make your hair a lot more fuller. So, it contains coconut, henna, and almond. So, coconut is going to give your hair fiber, body, and volume. And henna and almond are gonna nourish the hair and give it protection. So let's take a closer look into it. And like that, it is sealed. And let me just open that up. Oh, it smells gorgeous. It smells like a bam. Oh, I don't know. The smell is absolutely beautiful. So let me just take a tiny bit on my finger. Like you don't want too much of it, so I'd say that's even too much for my hair. Like that much, because all the products are quite rich. Like they contain a lot of oils and my hair can't really handle that. I'm just gonna work that through my hair. And do you know what? My hair could actually take a tiny bit more off it. Do you know what? It smells like holidays. That's what it smells like. So yeah, when I was talking to my Indian friends, I was really like, right, so is there anything different that you do with your hair care, is there anything special? Obviously they gave me all the different brands that they have in India, but they really use like Kerastas, L'Oreal, Dove, like those are their main products, but it's really nice to try out something like 100% Indian that's made there. And you know what, they live for the oils. And I love the idea of natural hair products. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna blow dry my hair off camera. We're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about the results and my thoughts about the Indian hair care routine. And my hair is blow dried. Now, when we're looking at my hair, there is a lot of body to it. So do you know what? It definitely gave me volume. Like it did give my hair that nice grit. Um, do I think the products were too heavy for my hair? Yes, because like that my hair is lank, but it does feel soft. It doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't feel two way down. So I think it done the job. So let's hear my final thoughts about each and every product. Starting with parachute coconut oil. Do you know what? I think this is a hit. This oil is absolutely amazing. And you know what? I was so ignorant never using coconut oil on my hair and scalp before. But I think this oil is absolutely glorious. And you know what? I'd probably love it going on holidays when I'm in extreme heat just to protect my hair. This oil is definitely amazing. Like, and that it is 100% edible, it's even more amazing. Like this is, you know this is an 100% coconut oil and there's no shenanigans with it. So parachute coconut oil, you're spicy. Moving on to Batika Nourishing Shampoo. Now, I don't think there's anything amazing about this shampoo. I didn't like the smell. 
the packaging is very simple and the technology is just all right. I mean, it's a good shampoo. It's an all right shampoo, but I don't think it's anything amazing. Would I use it again? Well, I don't know, but I wouldn't run to buy it again, if that makes sense. Moving on to Batika Black Seed Conditioning Mask. And you know what? This mask literally amazed me anything from the color of the mask to the idea of the black seed the black cumin to the smell it felt absolutely amazing on my hair it done what it's supposed to do it was meant to nourish my hair and add shine and here we are we've nourished shiny hair so now batika black seed mask you're spicy and the final product we're going to talk about is batika volume and thickness styling cream when it comes to the cream the packaging mm, it's a miss. When it comes to the actual product, it smells beautiful. It made my hair nice and full. Like, can you see that? Like, that's literally my hair just blow dried. Would I reach out for it? Probably. Like, it's not going to be my product of choice. And I'll definitely probably reach out for it at some stage. So, no, this is definitely a good product. In conclusion, when it comes to Indian hair routine, I mean, the natural oils, I live for it. And you know what? There's probably so many amazing big brands out there that do hair care. And you know what? I'm dying to try a few different ones. I'm definitely going to try out different oils in the future. And I'm going to definitely change up my hair care routine after today's film. Because I mean, coconut oil? Girl, I see you. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching today's film. I hope you found this film rather interesting, helpful and useful. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the thumbs up button and turn on the notification bell. And of course you guys, please take care. Bye.